You know, one of the big keys to being happy in this life is staying fit, trim, and in shape. We're going to give you one very easy tip to do that right now. All right, so today's episode finds Scott and Jeff, and that, of course, is myself. And me, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, here at, uh, uh, well, this particular store, uh, Sh Sh Shields? It's not Shaquille's. Shields? No, no. You know, there's debate about what it's act how it's pronounced. No one really knows. We just know that it's a very, very large sporting goods store yeah. that evidently can be seen from space. It's, it's so large. It's one of the uh, 10 largest uh, man-made monuments on the planet. And as you can see, it's... Uh, Pretty uh, heavily uh, patronized. Yeah. Is that how you say that? Well, that's, I mean, we're here at 8.30 in the morning. Let's be that's honest. True, it's yeah. It is fairly early. We're not going to lie to you. But why we're here is because we've parked here. Now, you'll notice that there are a lot of parking spaces between us and the building. And if we were just normal people who don't want to be happy, we would spend all day, especially if this were later in the day and it were packed, trying to find a parking space up near the door. Wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, even worse is when you wake up at 6.30 in the morning and your shift doesn't start until 10. But you gotta have that close space, because oh, that's yeah. what matters. Yeah, yeah, you just wanna park close. Well, we're here to tell you that one way to be happy as part of the shape up, up of the 7-Ups is to look for opportunities to walk a little more. Look for opportunities to get your heart and your lungs pumping a little bit and stop wasting so much time parking up close. Now, there are a few pros to parking closer to the building. Uh, namely, yeah, uh, if you are disabled, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, if it's difficult for you to you know, get in and out of places, then of course you're gonna look, and that's why there are governmentally mandated, uh, we still call them handi handicap spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something wrong with saying handicap? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's just one of those words that a lot of times it depends on where you are in the country. You know? Well, but I mean, it's, there's sort of like a stigma using that I know, word. But I know. I don't know what else you call it. It's a handicap spot. Yeah, handicap sorry spot. sorry if you're disabled and we're calling you handicap. We don't mean to offend, of course. One way to be happy is to not let stuff like that bother you. You know what I mean? Sort of ease up on some of the things that you're not allowing to roll off your back. But uh, I'm sure there's probably some reason why we shouldn't sure, say sure. handicapped. Yeah, yeah. But, but that parking up there is for handicapped people. Or just people that are less fortunate than people that can't. It's hard for them. Yeah. We're going to move on. We're going to write. We're just going to go ahead and move on then. Yeah. That's, that's what we do. We move on when we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> so park farther away. Yeah. Why? You, you're going to save time looking for a space up front. Yeah. Second, people I've found when they're parking, and I don't mean to generalize, are morons. Yeah. That's, that's all I want to say. There. And the worst part about parking close and trying to find that tight spot that everybody wants is you get out and your little door is dinged. Oh boy. Right? Door dings, baby. That's a huge pro, parking away get from away everybody. Get away from the cars. Get away from the people who don't know how to create a nice little buffer space of comfort between your car and theirs. But if you, if, if you have a 1980 Corolla, don't take up two spots. Don't do the little <laughs> diagonal thing, I'm going to have two spots. <laughs> I don't care if it's a 1980 you know? Corolla yeah. or a 2018 Maserati. Yeah. You don't need two spots. No. Uh -uh. You don't have to, but especially yeah, if it's a Nissan yeah. Sentra. Yeah. Uh, no offense to our Nissan drivers out there. I mean, those are beautiful cars. They're the number one selling car in America. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, in 1996. But anyway, get away from the people. And yep. most importantly, as we focus on shaping up, you get an opportunity to walk a little more. Nowadays, everybody has, and if you can possibly work well, the reason I say that Not is because the, the walking doesn't stop when you go through the parking lot. You go in and guess what? You've also got a stand-up desk, right? Well, you know, the shields. adjustable. No, but you know, I got someone that I work with oh, in there. you're talking about at work. Yeah, Park yeah. far away at work. Yeah, yeah, you know, and then you, get, you got your little walker there at your desk, at your stand-up desk, you know? Who says you don't have to look like this the whole day, that right? Is, is, it's not as easy, perhaps, to type. You're you laying down in bed, out. you know, same thing. <laughs> anyway. You just keep, you want to keep moving. Yeah. That's the beauty of that, because the more in shape you are, the stronger your heart is, the easier it is for you to breathe. And to be honest with you, happiness requires, in most cases, that you're actually still alive. Now, I'm sure there's a whole fountain of happiness just awaiting us when we're dead. 
but we're talking about how to be happy here in this mortal life. So park further away, you'll get a nice walk in, a nice walk out, your car won't get dinged, or the wind, when you, have you ever had the wind when you open up the door and it blasts into the car, or you yeah. leave? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. I had, Woo! First time viewers, how about that? Always got the hat, I had no Woo! idea that you were so, wow. Yeah, beautiful. In a coming episode, we'll talk about how to be happy in the face of uh, hair loss. Yeah. And we'll have uh, Nate Woodbury on to yeah. show us uh, his bald head as well. We'll have a lot to talk I think about. That'll, that'll be good. Okay, so here's your challenge. Next time you're at a big box store or at the mall or at some huge parking lot, park as far away as you possibly can. Buck the trend and walk further into the store. Also, let us know, you know, some of your little hacks on yeah. how to get your heartbeat going and yeah, get more what do you steps do? each day. Like and subscribe.